Prince William was recently seen enjoying a pub outing with his mother-in-law, Carol Middleton. This sighting is a testament to the strong bond between the prince and his in-laws, with Carol's presence becoming more common than that of William's old friends. Hello, welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. It seems that the Prince of Wales, too, welcomes Carol's presence, as she and her husband, Michael, have been staying with the family at Anmer Hall, their retreat on the Sandringham estate during the Easter school holidays. This support has become even more crucial as Catherine undergoes treatment for an undisclosed form of cancer. Not only do Carol and Michael assist in caring for their grandchildren, George, Charlotte, and Louis, but they also provide personal reassurance to their daughter during this challenging time. William's ability to continue carrying out his royal duties while his father battles the disease is a testament to the support provided by the Middletons. In fact, it is becoming increasingly evident that Catherine's parents are just as instrumental to the future of the monarchy as the Windsor family themselves. Carol and Michael Middleton's active involvement has given Prince William the confidence to undertake royal engagements on his own, as he did before Easter, and he will continue to do so when the children return to Lambrick School. Their support extends beyond the public eye, with Carol even assisting with the school run while Catherine recovered from major surgery earlier this year. The close proximity of Lambrick School to both the Middleton's home in Bucklebury and the family's Windsor residence, Adelaide Cottage, further highlights the fundamental role the Middletons play in the lives of the grandchildren. Prince William's increasing reliance on his in-laws is a natural progression, considering the strength of Catherine's family ties. Carol, in particular, has assumed a mother figure role for the prince, especially given the timing of their introduction just a few years after the tragic passing of Princess Diana. The depth of their relationship was evident when the couple spent their first Christmas together in 2011 at the Middleton household, rather than at Sandringham with the royal family, a departure from the expectations placed on previous royal spouses, such as the Duchess of Edinburgh and the Duchess of York. As Catherine takes time to prioritise her health and well-being, the invaluable role played by Carol and Michael in supporting the daughter and the wider royal family has never been more apparent. It is for this reason that there is a growing case for formal recognition of their importance through the bestowal of titles. The suggestion of the Middleton's friend, Sir John Medeski, that they be named the Earl and Countess of Bucklebury, resonates deeply. Carol and Michael have proven themselves to be exceptional individuals and inspiring role models, deserving of such an honour. In a time when the monarchy is evolving, Acknowledging the unwavering support and dedication of Carol and Michael Middleton would not only be a fitting tribute but also a recognition of their integral role in shaping the future of the British royal family. Their impactful contributions deserve to be celebrated and honoured, as they continue to provide invaluable support to their children and grandchildren during both joyful and challenging times. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.